I am so excited to play this game. Uh, Fallout A is one of my top series ever. Uh, everybody was like really, really excited about Skyrim and stuff like that. I loved Skyrim, don't get me wrong. But Fallout is and will always be uh, my favorite series. I even liked Fallout 4, which not a lot of people seem to like. I didn't like it as much as 3 in New Vegas, mind you. Uh, but it was alright. I, I like the idea of exploring post-apocalyptica. So, yeah. Uh, love everything about this, you know. Looting is my all-time favorite thing to do in these games. That's why I like uh, MMOs, survival crafting games, all that stuff. I just love having the things. Wow. Ugh, even, even with as old as this game is now. I mean, it's not crazy old, mind you, but uh, it, it's still cool to see that scene, you know, see all this stuff. Like, the graphics are, to me, still awesome for what they are. When did, when did Fallout New Vegas come out, actually? War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, ten those years who survived ago, did so in great just shy force. of ten years ago. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is... The game was rigged from the start.
All right, so we'll we'll skip through the credits and everything. Um, I just wanted to ensure that everyone got to to see the intro in case you haven't actually played the game before. Uh, I'm sure people who have probably wanted me to skip through that pretty quick. You're awake. But oh well. Uh, so I do have all the DLCs. Uh, if you didn't know already, you're interested in playing New Vegas and you wanted to play the DLCs, maybe you never had the chance to, or you're interested in doing it again, Steam has a sale going on right now where you can get uh, Fallout New Vegas, the base game, and all the DLCs for about 20 bucks. So we'll just name our character Shanks. Nice. Well, fuck you, guy. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? I I like how he's like. I hope you didn't mind that I went rooting around in your noggin to pull out little bits of bullet fragment. Dude, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, I'm going to kind of... I'm not going to say rush through this, but I don't want to spend my entire time today just creating a guy. So I'm going to... Uh, pomp. Clean cut looks, I guess, all right. Uh... Let's give him dark hair. Why not? And a goatee. Sure, a rough beard. Nah, goatee looks alright. Um, I mean, he's not a looker, but that's who we're gonna run with. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. <laughs> Stuff that mattered. Uh, yeah, I, you forgot to reattach my goatee. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right. So as with a lot of the games that I play, uh, playing this on uh, on a computer is going to be the first time that I played. Uh, this game in particular on PC, so some of my movements might be a little blocky. I might not be as good of an aim or whatever, but uh, so we got our core attributes, right? You got special, strength, perception, uh, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Um, and everybody's got a way they typically do these, but I usually go pretty high in intelligence because I like doing the uh, I like to be able to do you could hack computer terminals and stuff to allow you to get actually all the stuff that you want uh, agility is gonna be good and which one is the one for lockpick I just like to be able to get as much loot as humanly possible is typically my way to go so we're gonna put a couple points in that um, everything else helps a little bit, but it's not something that I'm super worried about. Uh, you actually don't want to end up getting rid of luck because there's a lot of stuff that can help you out in the end. So we're just going to go with, a with a little boost to agility, intelligence, and perception. So we'll, we'll see how this works for us. Uh, hopefully it's good to go. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Um, so we got cat, feed, newspaper training kick. Honestly, cat's house. first thing comes to my house. 
shelter Night. day. Everybody loves our cat. Um, I guess the next thing, I guess campfire is kind of light, but I don't want to pick all the top options. Um, back to sleep at night. Bandit. Kill. Uh, crush, stab, Swiss cheese, vaporize, reasonable. We're gonna go with Swiss cheese. Light. Um, flash. Mother. The caretaker. Okay. So there were some other options, and they were a little more um, fucked up. You'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree on that one. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Ah, uh, when the need comes for it. I'm always picked. I don't like being the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Nah. I mean, I guess it really depends on what the idea is, if it's a bad one or a good one, but, you know, they got the picture of the, uh, fire and the wheel here, so those are both good ideas, so. In to deal with my problems head on. Oh, yeah. Very eager. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Broken chain. I don't really see. A chemical reaction. I also don't really see. Uh, I guess an angry two-headed ant. Okay. How about this one? That's a boat. Yeah, that's a boat, man. Last one. That's a fucking nuclear bomb. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. Well, if you don't if know what you're right. doing, why are you asking me these questions, Doc? Explosives, medicine, and speech. I mean, there's worse things. I can change these, but I think it's more fun if you deal the hand that you're dealt. So we're going to deal with this. It'll either screw us or help us in the end, but... Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Will you tell that to my uncle? He caught eight eight bullets to the top of the head. So I'm definitely going to turn on Wild Wasteland. Um, basically, a bunch of goofy shit can happen. Uh, Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of the post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. Um, the rest of them are like boosts and negatives, but... Uh, Quarter, you gain plus 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer a negative one to all attributes anytime your weight drops below 160 pounds. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get myself a level 30 cap. Cost 25% less range. I'll do trigger this one. I don't. I usually go for more of like the accuracy firing anyway. It's not that big a deal. Nice. Um, of course, I'm gonna have to take everything out of your house that isn't nailed down. Book, 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 book. Is that a book? Oh yeah, I don't have the pit boy yet. I was trying to turn it on so I could see stuff. Uh, taking all the stuff that won't get me sent to jail for stealing. All the stuff. Yep, I know you want me to follow Doc Mitchell, but uh, what Doc Mitchell didn't account for is the fact that the guy that he just helped is in desperate need of all things, including all these books. So I'm used to the, uh, I'm used to shift allowing you to run, and for some reason it just makes you go slower. So that's a bit of a, a curveball for me. All right, I won't, I won't load it up anymore. We'll go talk to Doc. Nope, we'll go talk to Doc.
Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults he made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something to... Then put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself and the... I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to. Alright, hardcore mode. So, it's a whole lot of reading, but uh, basically... Uh, you have to drink, you have to eat so you don't die, uh, ammunition has weight, um, right away doesn't automatically heal your radiation poisoning and stim packs cannot fix your, bo your broken bone. Uh, so basically it'll make this game a whole hell of a lot harder, but considering I've played it without hard code, hardcore mode before, we're gonna try it. Cool. All right. So real quick, let's. Uh, I'm guessing fought is food. Uh, let's put our, our stuff on. All weapons. Yeah, that's basic common knowledge. Like a good shotgun. Yes. Yes. Clothing. Clothing's very good. I like heavier armor, but at the same time, uh, I don't want to go to, like, max heavy armor as far as weight. Obviously, I'm not getting... Alright, you forgot... You've gotten a fragmented signal in your pit boy a coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Old War Blues has been loaded, and your level cap has been raised by five. Pip Boy has received a signal, coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Follow the coordinates are the words Courier 6. It's signed Ulysses. Lonesome Road has been downloaded, level cap has been increased by five. Picked up by radio broadcast for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. They're looking for one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. Yep. So that's just all the stuff that I got for DLCs, so... Uh, I will be doing the DLCs. Okay, that that just tells you that different guns are going to be added. Uh, I will be doing DLCs at some point. I'm not going to do them right off the bat, because I do want to enjoy the main game. And also, they have like recommended level caps first. So... I don't want to automatically get distracted from all the stuff that we need to do. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Fair enough. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. I need to get to Prim. I'm a little short on caps. Um, let's not worry about work just yet. Um, yeah, I guess there's a thing or two. So this will do the. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after. Yeah, this will do the intro. Meet me outside behind the saloon. Um. So I mean, normally I would skip the intro, but again. Uh, not everyone's played the game, so not everyone understands how everything works in the game, and I just want to make sure it's it's a fair view for everybody, right? So notice, no bottles. No bottles on the rail. But this chick's a witch. Now, see the bottles. Bottles, the there? bottles everywhere. The most useless... Over magical ability. What the hell? I feel like I'm shooting this right on. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Alright, uh... That's the right finally. Look down the side. God damn. Shooting with a mouse is way harder. Try crashing down and staying still. Okay. 
up next You're right, that is much better. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Uh, right. no. I gotta go chase Gekka's Weird away from a water supply bottle anyway. witch. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Critters Follow are attracted me. to water. It's just down to the yeah, uh, it's kind of been like that forever. I love this puppy. But then again, I love all puppies, so. Yeah, just, I mean, we're obviously following her, but I just want to, like, look at the massive expanse that we have to, like, explore in all different regions. That's why I love the Fallout series so much. It starts off narrow, right? Like, oh, you gotta you start in this tiny little town, but if you just look around you at all the stuff you're gonna get to explore, it's amazing. Uh, I'll be honest, I never played Fallout 2 or Fallout 1, but I played Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and I even played Fallout 76, uh, it, which is not amazing, as just about everyone knows. It's alright if you don't play it like it's a Fallout game, but I guess that in and yeah, of itself is kind of we got not what you want to hear for a review. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. So obviously, you know, okay. we're sneaking. Go give him hell. And if you see that big fucking thing back there, that's the gecko they're talking about. There's a few of them. Because radiation has just turned everything in this wasteland into a fucking mess. Yeah. I'm gonna need a little practice to get better at shooting on PC. Nice. Not too bad. So we took out all the geckos at the well. I'm just gonna take all the things, because why not? I thought somebody was about to pull into my driveway. Little confuzzled by that considering everyone that lives here is here and obviously with the whole See, covid deal we're the hang of it. not having many There's guests still, well, still need clearing you want you can come along it'd be worth a few caps to me sure why not it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes especially with two of us come with me i love how she gave me 60 rounds of ammo like i'm a bad shot but i'm not like gonna waste 60 rounds of ammo yet Don't hurt that poor puppy. Yeah, I don't know why this is taking so utterly long. That was just way longer than it needed to be. Okay, I guess I need to talk to her. I've done this a million times, and I i honestly swear I have no remembrance of... Oh, there's more. There's more. That's what it was. I was like, something happens. That's right. You gotta save this poor little settler. Something tells me this gun is not insanely accurate for what it is. Very calm for someone that almost died. Holy moly! There we go. That's a little better. I'd be a goner for sure. 
I came up here to draw water, but here, you should. Yay! Confound it, Cheyenne! Why'd you have to go running in like that? You were supposed to stay. I'm sorry, you the puppy. You have to see me like this. I'm not going to be very good company right now. I did have another thing to teach, but I'll understand if you'd rather I just pay you so you could be. A I fit I can. about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Sure. All right then. Now I'll be honest. Uh, I usually don't do a whole lot of like. I, I craft as in like weapons, ammunition, stuff like that. But as far as like drinks and herbal remedies, it's usually not my thing. But it's good to show. So we're gonna do it anyway. Is there anything over here? Nope. Guess I'll just go fuck myself then. That's what my my dude looks like. Apparently, I just want to go back to first person. There we go. Yeah, I kind of have to, like, I know the controls for the game. I just don't know the controls for the game in PC, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I understand. You can enter vats by pressing V. The tip can go away at any moment. Who's... Victor Shack. That's the uh the cowboy robot. It's the little buddy that apparently pulled us out of a bad situation. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Nice. So it only took like three rounds to drop a big ass bug, but okay. I might be able to exit that by clicking E again. I don't know. Some of those like kill shot camera things go on for just a little longer than I find to be absolutely necessary. So we don't have to go in here, but I, I want to. I love exploring. So there's one. I think praying mantises are fucking awesome, but I don't think I would want to fuck with one that was this big. Okay, hold up. Fuck this gun. Yeah. It's a, a cheap-ass way to win, but you don't have to be accurate with a shotgun. Caps. Yes, I mean, I don't know who wouldn't have already played at least one Fallout game by now. Not that I'm calling anybody out, just saying. Uh, but if you didn't know, in this game, you're going to be using bottle caps as currency. Because a lot of the money burned up. So the one thing they started using was caps off of, uh... Off of a popular This World soda called Nuka-Cola, which if that's not irony in and of itself, I don't know what is. Salesman Weekly. There's like a, a lot of decently good stuff in here for where we're at, obviously, the very beginning of the game. I'm just trying to make sure I don't overlook some of it. Okay. Bobby pins, bobby pins. Metal box. Really, nothing all that good. I'm just kind of grabbing everything right now. I will be a little more choosy in the future. Okay, not a high enough level to do that. Not a high enough level to do that either. Uh, should have gotten a magazine that allows us to do all that good stuff. Uh, Programmer's Digest. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed. So basically we're going to hack it.
Okay, so there are things you're supposed to go through and select a word, and then based off of how many, like, it'll say one out of or two out of, that's how many, like, letter combinations they have in common. So if it was stating and you clicked on someone, it would be like one, two, three, four. It would say you had two, correct, right? A faster way or a uh, more exact way to do it if you don't know how is to get rid of all the duds. So anytime you have, like, open and close parentheses or stuff like that, you can click them and it makes the stuff go away. Some of it, or it'll reset your tries and some other stuff, but it is a little harder to find on PC because you can't just run through as easily as you could. So, someone. Nothing is correct in someone, so nothing starts with an S. Nope. 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 Oh shit. Alright. I gotta pay more attention and quit trying to rush this. Oh, what the hell is it? Someone had nothing, correct? So would it be this? S O M E S K E D R I. No, that can't be that one, because Warrior doesn't line up right. Or, yeah, it does. Nice. It's completely wrong. I was I was looking at the, uh, I thought it was, instead of learned or whatever, I thought it was like lard or some shit. I don't know. I thought the A was the second letter. Okay. So, nope, not what I went to click. How do I get out of this? Okay, not that. Cool. Just literally click the power button. Alright, so we got bottle caps, mintats. A few decent stuff for early game. And for any, any of the uh, people watching, if you've played this game before, or, you know, you know the, the whole inner workings or whatever. Don't worry, after I get through my first episode, it's going to be a whole lot less tutorial-esque. I just want to give people that's never played the game or never seen the game, like, a chance to kind of understand what the hell is going on. Well, the game does do a great job of doing some backstory, like, telling just through conversations or through things that you find, uh, mostly in the uh, terminals that you find. Uh, it's it's just easier, really, because I don't want to just sit and read for an hour, you know? I like looking at, like, the different kinds of settlements they've decided to come up with and put... What am I being attacked by? Oh, that's a rad, rad roach. Bark scorpion, not a rad roach. I guess rad roaches are bigger, or maybe rad roaches were in three? I, I don't know. No idea, that looks interesting. I, I really have to rein myself in when it comes to this game because it has been a while since I played, so a lot of this stuff is somewhat new to me. And by new, I mean like remembering all this stuff. When it comes to exploring games like this, I'm just like, I want to go see that interesting thing. Oh wow, I literally shot it. What the hell? What am I shooting fucking... Let's not be shooting shells. Should be some spread. There we go. The only reason why I'm really taking their meat is because of 
apparently I have to eat in this game now because I did the hardcore version. And I just want to make sure that I... I just searched this one, I think. Snow globe. Found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Cool. Well, if I can hold it, I'm going to take it. This is the grave they dug for me. In case that wasn't obvious, this is where they shot me during the uh, intro sequence. Those are the Brock flowers I needed. And now we can head back to that fucking witch, witch with a W, uh, Sandy Smiles. Was it Sandy? I just remember her last name was Smiles. I think it's Sunny. Sunny Smiles. Either way, there were no bottles, then there were bottles, and she was 20 feet away. So, she did something. God, are we 100% certain there is no sprint? Because when there was... Who knows? All I know is shift for some reason makes you go slower. I guess for sneaking's sake. Because I guess you can't... It kind of makes sense. I guess you can't really light press unless you're going to do this number when you're sneaking. So I guess holding shift would allow you to... Kind of gauge how fast you want to move while you're sneaking. Whereas like on a controller you could obviously just press the stick in. You know, further or more shallow depending on how much you wanted to sneak, so. God damn, it did not seem like this far of a walk. That's a roller coaster over there. It is, it is amazing how, like, I remember a lot of this, but I don't remember the specifics. I remember I did a whole lot of killing over there next to that roller coaster. I don't remember why or whom, though. So maybe we'll find that out. I mean, we're definitely going to find it out. I'm not going to skip a roller coaster in the middle of a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Okay. Guess she's right over here. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Yeah, I've, I've made cocaine. This isn't my first Led Zeppelin tour. All right. Healing powder. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's a whole lot of bars for one. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes cats knocking stuff off on my wife's desk. You might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Okay. Well, good luck. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to. She'd be cross with me if I did. Cool. Want to explore? This trailer. There's a random dude out here. Hi. Hello. Can you help me? I guess. What's that on your nose there, buddy? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please. She's going to die. Holy hell, I'm going to end up being Go the up fucking the doom slayer the of desert geckos. Right. They're at the top of the trail. I can't help but notice that you have a gun. Why don't you go save her from your over like overgrown geckos? <sighs> Whatever. Anything anything to be a good man, I guess. God, this uh yeah, I don't think we're gonna remake our character, and if I do I'll just do it off camera. Oh, there's some more of those. Xander roots that I apparently can't pick for whatever reason. That one's just too small, I guess. Is 
Sup, little buddy. Jesus. I mean, I don't think this game is, like, that horrific to watch, but if you really have an issue with seeing some stuff like that, by all means, you know, tune into one of my, like, less grisly. But, I mean, this is the way of life. I hear something. I'm trying to make sure I don't get jumped. Look at his little feet. Don't bite me. Oof. Oof, devil oof. Okay, that's... That's enough. It's more cool when they, like, let you see the long shot you got and you, like, blast a foe's head off. It's a lot less cool when they make you just look at their body lying up. That's a lot. Oof. Trying to see how far I can go without actually taking any damage. Oh, he yelled his head. Poor little dude. Oh, where did he go? What a coward! He saw like his entire little gecko family get mowed down, and he was like, "You know what's cooler than getting mowed down? Leaving my family. That's a bear trap." Okay. Uh, we got 14 skill points, so I want to put some into, uh, let's see, we got energy, science, science would be good for hacking, so let's put some in there so we can get the first level of hacking. What helps us lockpick? Lockpick. Lockpick helps us lockpick, quite obviously. Alright, and then I guess a couple points in repair couldn't hurt. Swift Learner, just because it's going to help us get XP way faster. We're just going to avoid all these bear traps. I heard a weird alien noise. And as a matter of fact, I've heard a weird alien noise right here every time. What the hell is that? The skeletons down there? This dude had way more aces than should be in a typical deck. Just took their camera. Trying to avoid all the There's a lot of skeletons up here. Holy shit, that's a whole torso. These geckos might be more of a, an issue than previously recognized. Oh, hey, it's the dude. Your girlfriend Sorry wasn't up I there. Tricked you, but thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. Um. So. I guess he thought I would get worn down by all the different geckos that were up here. But if you knew you couldn't take it on, and you saw that I successfully did, wouldn't that tell you that I'm a better survivor than you are? And as such, you're probably going to have a much harder time, like, killing me. Is this a Merc Adventurer outfit? That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, there goes the bones. I honestly have no idea why the, uh... You know, the fucking... Alien-ish music starts playing. I've looked through these hills. I don't recall having ever found anything. So, I mean... If anybody watching has played this game, and they do know what the hell that noise means, or 
I know it usually happens and then it indicates something goofy's about to happen because we put that Wastelander perk on Wacky Wasteland. But, and while I've discovered what every other thing means, as far as the ones that I've come across, I've never figured out what that one is. I don't know if it's because that particular scene where the dude comes up and he's like, he's like, hey, sorry I tricked you and stuff, or like the whole mini quest line thing that we just did just then. Because I've done that every time, but I think I've done Wacky Wasteland every time, so who knows. Howdy. Hi there. I wish I could make my character say hi, but... He's just going to keep toting this uh, shotgun straight over here. I think, yeah, there you go. If I hold R, I'll put it away. Makes me go a little faster without having the gun out. Okay, so we need to go in here and talk to... Yeah, it was Sunny. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Alright, so, basically, uh, there's some shit going on in this town. And Trudy well, knows about it. Been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Okay. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. So... Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and throw... He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working. Sounded like they... That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about this fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15. He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Sure, the outside looks okay, but there'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a... Alright, let's get, let's get on this. Be careful. Alright, so basically, dude's hiding from the Powder Gangers, which are like some ex-convicts, uh, the NCR, the people that you watched at the beginning, uh, captured them, and then they decided they were going to give them dynamite so they could blast a way through, and it turns out giving known criminals and convicts dynamite's not the best idea. Hello. So there's a guy hiding in this town, Feeling thirsty? and they're after him. So you can either help the powder gangers find him so they can kill him, or you can help yeah. this guy and get, uh, I'm not going to try to rip her off. A, I don't have the ability to, so I don't have enough barter skill, but meh. Um, I typically 
do the nice guy playthrough, and by that I mean like if people are nice to me, I'm typically nice to them in this game. Um, but if somebody's an asshole, I will screw them over to the ends of the earth on this game. 110%. So, people at Good Springs, really, really nice people, so we'll leave them be. So, our guy should be in here. That's close enough. That's not how you make friends. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, that's what you're asking. I'm just having a look around. If you're gonna shoot, better not miss. That sounds cooler. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? So we'll just we'll cut around the bullshit for yeah. now. He doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance. Maybe I can help. You need a hired gun. Good luck with that. Uh, you need a hired gun means that I will help, but I'll also get paid, All so... Got left on me are a That's another thing. I, I still want to get paid. I want to do the good guy route, but I want to get paid to be a good guy, work. so... We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Okay, so... I'll ask around and see who I can round up. with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendly... Alright, so, gotta go talk to Sonny. Nice, nice little place you got here, buddy. Oh, you know, we have not looked at our food in a minute. Let's see where are we at. Food's at 87. We're thirsty. Oh, we have to sleep, too. Holy shit, I didn't realize that. Uh, let's just eat something. Rads, HP... Oh, is the lower the number, the better it is? I quite honestly have no idea. Um, let's see. Okay. So, yeah. It's, it's from, like, good to go on this end to, like, absolutely wrecked on the other end. So, we're, we're good. It's not as... I thought it was going to be like, Jesus, like if you ever played any of this, the other survival games, me and my wife was playing Ark on the PlayStation uh, yesterday, and holy shit, you get hungry every like three minutes, you got to shove like eight steaks down your gullet, uh, walk 15 feet, and then you need another eight steaks. So, I was afraid it was going to be like that severe, you know? But it's good to see that that, that won't be the case. I don't plan to stop that, so we have to talk to Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Do one Monday. Uh, I'm gonna need to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers, and I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. That was really easy. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, that was very easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim pack. Alright, so... I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so... Cool, 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 cool. Oh. Alright, so basically there are three people on our list that we need to get. We need to get Trudy. We need to get the old man sitting on the front porch of the Prospector. Uh, Easy Pete, I believe. And then Doc Mitchell, who was the guy that patched us up the first time. Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. You should help me take down the Powder Gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning it's about on the best one, one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. 
I'm with you. It's my glowing personality and speech points. And I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. So she wants me to go talk to the dude at the general store. Be but I think we already have her word that she's going to help us out. So now we need to talk to this guy. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I love your hat. Uh, I hear you've got dynamite. It would help us to beat the powder gangers. I mean, Too straightforward. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it? Better to leave it buried, safer that way. That's lame. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives, dynamite included. Hell yeah. One of the few times I have an explosives helps in like a conversation. Uh huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I was very I'll easy. Go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time. You quite literally have no idea if I lied to you just then. I love the trust. The trust of a man that got shot in the head, patched back up, and already is trying to fight people. Shit. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Fair enough. Uh, need some supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Okay. So um, I hold up. Right. Uh, so you have to boost your your points or whatever to convince him to do that. But I did get the salesman weekly, so that's only going to increase us by 10. So if I can somehow manage to level up before we talk to Chet, we can have a clean run on this one. Let's try to talk to Doc Mitchell first. Uh, we are heading towards the end of our episode, so if we can convince him before we head out, do our little outro, and then call it. We can try to work on Chet next time. Don't go to sleep, Doc. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I know. You're old. You need your sleep. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Your facial expression says that you hate me. The town's going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. They'll be using explosives. Do you have anything for more serious injuries? He ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Okay, so we got Doc on our side. Um, so how many experience points am I going to need? Actually, do I have anything that just boosts barter? That'd be helpful. That's melee weapon and guns. Melee weapon speech. Yeah, nothing really that's going to just straight up help us with barter other than the salesman weekly. We had Mintats too. That helps a lot of stuff. Didn't we get Mintats? Charisma, Perception, Intelligence. Yeah. Not enough though. So we'll have to do that on our next episode. So that is incredibly great to see. And oh yeah, I was going to check my XP real fast. Uh, stats. XP 435 out of 550. We can easily run run the Wasteland and take care of that. Not a problem. So, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like videos such as these, I play Fallout New Vegas and another game that's somewhat similar, I guess, would be Dark Souls 3. Uh, I mostly play uh, survival crafting games such as Seven Days to Die, Subnautica, Don't Starve Together, uh, and every now and then I'll play uh, Project Winter, which if you don't know, is a survival crafting game with a social deduction edge on it. It's very interesting. Um, I put out what I'll be playing and when I'll be playing it every day on Twitter. So if you don't remember the schedule, not that big a deal. I know it is a little small. I don't know how it looks on a uh, expanded screen, but hopefully you can make it out. Uh, basically on Mondays I'll be playing Seven Days to Die, Tuesdays is Subnautica, Wednesday Dark Souls 3, Thursday Don't Starve Together, Thir uh, Friday Fallout New Vegas, and on Saturday is a mystery day. And basically what that means is uh, 
if we've got any game not on the schedule or we got a challenge that we want to do inside of a game that we're currently playing, that would be the day that we do it. Uh, this Saturday, aka tomorrow, we'll be doing the Blood Moon Challenge on Seven Days to Die. Basically what that is, is every night's a horde night. Uh, the days are shorter, so it's just a much more hardcore, way likelier to die sort of a scenario. So if you're interested in watching me like very stressfully try to survive in the post-apocalyptic zombie wasteland that is Seven Days to Die, uh, definitely want to tune in. Uh, I Again, I put out what I'll be playing when I'll be playing it on Twitter every day. So if you want to follow my Twitter, right there is my Twitter handle at the real X Shanks and Stab X. And any videos that I finish making on my uh, streams, I'll put up on YouTube. Uh, Twitch deletes my videos after about 15 days, so it's easier to uh, keep some videos around for people that didn't get to see some of the earlier stuff. So if you start picking up a series and maybe some of the earlier videos aren't there, you can look on YouTube. There's a decent chance they'll be there, although I just made my YouTube. Um, so if you want to follow either of those, it would be great help. Obviously, following me on Twitch is an even greater help. Uh, and I appreciate you guys watching that video, and I hope to see you tomorrow in the next one. Y'all have a good one.